have been working with a group of artists as artist in residence for the Southside Central Ward. So the other artists I've been working with are Alex Wilde, Ray Yen Song, Alaya Ang and Najma Abukar. So the residency has been part of a Glasgow City Council initiated project with the idea that they would have an artist in residence in every ward across the city. The last thing Southside Central needs is another artist in residence programme. What it needs is to properly support all of the creative activity that's already happening. Often a lot of that is happening against the odds. And the other thing that we feel is really important is to try and set up some kind of an arts alliance that would allow creative people to come together to form new collaborations, but also to think more carefully about some of the wider issues that are affecting our communities. So one of those issues that we feel is really important to look at, particularly in the context of Govan Hill, is this issue of gentrification and how the relationship between artists projects or often kind of community projects and um, and gentrification of areas. I set up a project, local project called the People's Bank of Govan Hill about four or five years ago which is a project that looks at uh, ideas of feminist economics and community currency, specifically in the context of Govan Hill. We set up the Swap Market. The Swap Market is a space, a non-monetary exchange space on Victoria Road, which I guess is essentially Govan Hill's High Street. And there's a number of really amazing projects, but one of the concerns is that as we collectively do all this work to, um, I guess, try and make our communities more livable, that we also inadvertently um, maybe drive up the price of property and rent. We're starting to try and initiate these what we think are quite important conversations about what are the other effects and impacts of what we do. So we've organised this event and the idea is hopefully at the end of the afternoon we'll come out with some kind of points for action and things that we can actually look to do collectively to kind of counteract some of the more negative effects. The artists are um, often uh, used as pawns um, in a game on a chessboard uh, with alongside other players. The board itself is controlled by local and, se and central governments. They divide, their planning rules are, are their rules, their decisions and I'm interested therefore in how artists are, are played by these government uh, uh, sort of government um, officials but also by other players on the board um, who, who maybe um, or more like the, the knights and kings, which would be property developers. Artists are becoming increasingly aware of, of their role, often on the frontier of gentrification, and I think that it's incre increasingly also difficult for artists to do anything about it. I think that the state uh, policy, cultural policy, both in, in England and in Scotland, pushes artists towards things like placemaking. Um, and in working in areas undergoing regeneration. This is policy code for get involved in um, effectively in gentrification. There's also a lot of artists um, who are involved in um, anti-gentrification campaigning, um, often disavowing their role as artists too. And so some of them might well be in meanwhile spaces, on the one hand, with studios, but also fighting those the developers and the councils, often, sometimes even in the same buildings. I think what's needed overall though is um, we need to stop talking about meanwhile spaces and I think that the creative industries of which artists are an essential part and I think but, but particularly artists need to be recognised as, um, as an essential part of the creative industries. You would, we shouldn't move around. The idea that it's vibrant and dynamic and increases our artistic skills is a lie. We, we want to make a living and we want certainty. We might want to move, but we, want, we should want to move when we want to move and not be pushed out and forced into other places when the, someone, the state, the local council, developers decide. It becomes, we become an ideal part of the neo neoliberal system. Cheap, uh, freelance, willing to work, move, do anything, anywhere, no pay, no rights, no permanent place to live or work um, and often that involves us competing with each other right uh, in a race to the bottom and I think that that is a it's it's unjust um, for artists and I think that but more importantly we need to fight that by finding our collectivism our collective um, political strength again and and saying no 